My name is Sam Landonwich. Uh, I work as the Deputy Chief of Staff for the Public Interest Network. On the very first day of Green Corps training, we're in Boston in August. It is sweltering outside. We're in, um, you know, in a in a classroom, and the first speaker who comes in is Ross Gelbspan, who um, was a. Uh, I'm not sure if he still is, but he was a reporter for the Boston Globe. He wrote books about global warming, and he was in to kind of give us a pep talk about why we should do this work to the class, my class of Green Corps organizers, the class of 2007. Um, he talked about meeting with, uh, with executives at ExxonMobil. The people at ExxonMobil kind of heard, out, heard him out um, as he was doing a book about global warming, and they, uh, they basically said, hey, look, we don't dispute the science. We actually believe that it is happening. We believe you know, we're kind of the biggest culprits. But here's the thing, we're gonna drill until we drill the last drop and we are gonna keep being an oil company and we're gonna fight to continue to do that. And I mean, I was just like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, you're not even in denial about this or something, you, you get what the problem is and you're still gonna do this? I mean, it just blew me away. The only way that we are gonna change things is if we get out and we fight for it. There's no, I mean, there's no other way to talk about it. It is a conflict, it is a fight. Um, and we have to get out there and fight. And for me, um, knowing that and knowing that things weren't gonna just sort themselves out was a very important realization for me. Green Corps really pushed me. I mean, in Green Corps, you are moving all around the country in a lot of cases. You're moving to places where you don't know anybody that are challenging. You know, I moved to Morgantown, West Virginia. I spent time in Tallahassee, Minneapolis, Minnesota, in Portland, Maine. I'd never been to any of those places. I didn't know anybody. Um, and uh, you know you kind of have to come in. You have to build something from scratch. I mean, I got to Morgantown, and you know I had the name of one professor who was the head of the local Sierra Club chapter, and that's all I had. And I just had to build something from nothing. And at the end of the campaign, I had you know a hardcore of ten volunteers who were showing up every day. I had you know thirty or forty other people who were volunteering on a regular basis. I built a coalition of organizations in seven different states that were working with us on the campaign. Um, and everywhere I went, you know, that's kind of the story of just building this thing from nothing. With Green Corps, I kind of plumbed my own depths. I learned what I was capable of doing. And in some ways, I learned that, that, um, that there aren't really limits on that. That you really, if you care about it, and you, know, you have a really important thing, and your time is gonna go to making a big difference, and you feel like your time is valuable, you can always push yourself to do more. So right now, I work with the Public Interest Network, which is a family of so, you know, uh, nonprofit organizations that are working together to make social change happen. So, Public Interest Network's kind of like a, a stew or a melange of many different types of organizations working on a bunch of different issues and actually working on accomplishing social change in a bunch of different ways. Everything from advocacy inside the Capitol work to organizing out in the field to uh, helping people to make changes in their own lifestyle, things that they can do personally, to socially responsible businesses. So uh, I work with the different organizations in the Public Interest Network on their uh, kind of long-term strategy and uh, helping them to kind of gut check their day-to-day -day operations. You know, right now I, I think I'm doing more than just about any other 27-year-old I know. Um, but I, I think it's because Green Corps, again, taught me that, uh, you know, really taught me how to push myself, taught me um, how to build up my endurance and my stamina to, to be strong-willed, to be courageous, and to really fight for what I care about.